Um, physical beauty. Physical beauty. That's why he said, I think mm. beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their unique beauty. So for me, I don't really... It, when I was young, I used to like light skin guys. Okay. And as I grew older, I turned to dark skin. Uh -huh. It keeps changing, changing, changing. I'm just like, okay, I don't like light skin guys anymore. Uh -huh. Like dark skin. Uh -huh. So I think it, it keeps changing, changing when you're growing. And I don't know. Everybody has their unique beauty. I always tell people... Everybody's just different. Different. You know? But what usually change, you know, influences that change? I mean, we're younger, you like light skinned guys, and then older, dark skinned. Yeah. What influences those and changes? And now I like very skinny guys. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps changing. You're like, oh, I don't. And like, there's no reason for, there's for no, that. I don't change. know. There's no reason for that change. You just keep changing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for we're, we're talking about plastic surgery, mm -hmm. Moisha. Let me come to you. I mean, okay. you have a very curvaceous body. Um, rumors have it, you know, has it that you've had some work done. Have you had some work done? Yes, I have. Okay. Mm. So why why did you get those those things done? What first of all, what did you get done? Um, I had a lipo BBL. Okay. A if lipo you can BBL. explain for the sake of my my viewers, <laughs> oh, okay. if you can explain that. <laughs> Like uh -huh. is when they take out your fats from any part of your body, in your arms, your face, your stomach, your waist, anywhere, uh -huh. and they put it in your in your hip, in your hip, your ass. Okay. Yes, okay. they put in which, without the transfer, just the lipo is the fat transfer. But if you want the uh, the fat, the hips, the so you want to transfer ass, to a different place. Yes, that's uh -huh. the BBL. That's the, the BBL. Brazilian fat lift. Because it started from Brazil. Okay. Okay. A lot of Brazilian women do a lot of fat transfers and stuff. That's how the name came about. The Brazilian butt lift. Butt lift. Yeah. But why did you opt for plastic surgery? Um, I used to work out a lot. And <laughs> you know, I was not getting results. <laughs> after, like, you know, I'm always dieting, waist training. Like, you know, and I, was, I think I wanted fast results. I was mm -hmm. not too patient. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? I, heard about, I read about past... Um, plastic surgery i heard about bb i was like you know what let me go try it and i was like okay and that's i did my little research and i went and i love it okay uh, i got the result it gives you fast results <laughs> really results you want yes but weren't you scared of the repercussions the no consequences? i read about it before i went i did a lot of research i did a lot of research and i realized that it's something that people have been doing way like right. years mm -hmm. ago mm. you understand but I don't know, this generation, we are more exposed and to the internet and everything. So you get to see a lot of things. So that's what I did my research. And I was like, you know what, okay. let me try it. And let you try. Dick, are you for or against plastic surgery? Um, actually, none. I'm, I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay with I, it. I'm right in the middle. Yeah. There's a perception that people who usually go for plastic surgery have low self-esteem or don't have confidence. Was that the case no, in, in, I don't in, with you? that. I don't believe that. I've always had confidence in myself and my skin and myself. But just that sometimes, I always tell people, people seem to have a problem when you go for surgery. But when you work out for that result, it's, it's a good, like, right. you know, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. Working out and going for surgery, you want that flat stomach, tiny waist, and you want people, girls do squats and stuff like that. It's the same thing. Yeah. So it's not really about, sometimes it makes you feel good. When you look good, it makes you feel good. When you wear a dress you look good in it so i yeah. don't think it's really <laughs> about that it's just then why do we make up why do we even whiten our teeth people do white yeah, things yeah. and has right, we yeah. should not wear these, these wigs right we shouldn't right. wear makeup because right. oh we are just trying to look good right. in our right. house it doesn't mean we have low self-esteem but why do you think it, it has such a negative you know attachment when, when it comes to when we are talking about plastic surgery why do you think that people think of it so negatively i think the narrative is changing. Now people are getting to know about I think it was in the beginning. Right. And I don't think, I just feel, it's just, you know, the whole, eh, like, you know, you've gone to do surgery for yeah. that. It's just yeah. some way. But mm -hmm. I think now it's changing. People are getting used to it. Yeah. Husbands are paying for their wives. Yeah. And oh, it's yeah? Just, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's becoming very normal now. Now mm -hmm. nobody goes like, oh, she's done it. She's got it. It's just really normal. In America, mm -hmm. like you're working with, you can just see a girl, you're like, oh, my girl, like, you look good. Mm -hmm. Who's your doctor? It's like a common thing. Who's your doctor? Oh, 
I got my ass done here. Mm -hmm. I did It's very, it's like it's normal now. Mm -hmm. I think yes. people have gotten to accept it, and it's not really a big deal like before. Mm -hmm. I think it used to be foreign to us. Yes, it used right to be now, foreign, but right now yeah. it's just like I, think, I still think it's it's not foreign. I mean, uh, we still get people judging, you know, the likes of you for for getting it done. They judge you and say you're lazy. You you don't, <laughs> you know. Have uh, confidence. confidence. You, you see, so we still uh, we are yet to most accept people it. that judge end up doing it. They so do, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, low key, but low key. They, they, they want it. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they want it. It's nice. So yeah, it's sure. the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing as working out. I see people go to the gym working out to get that look. So mine is just to go for surgery. So it's the same right. thing. Now, Dick, you you are married. Right. Um, how would you feel if your wife? Mm -hmm. Well, I would assume she hasn't gotten anything done. But no, no. if she wanted to get something right. done, mm -hmm. what would uh, what would be your reaction? Um, so I, I have a way I look at life. Like I mean, it's it's a cliche, but you indeed you only live once, okay? And there are certain things that sometimes you want to do. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that she wants to do, and um, and knowing her, I'm very positive that she's going to pay for it. So with that being the case, oh, just so as to, long as she's paying for it, yeah, fine. <laughs> just to borrow the words of uh, probably wound to me, uh -huh. who am I? Uh -huh. You know, who am I to, to, to actually tell her not to do it? But, but personally, like, I mean, I'm cool with it because mm. I'm sure personally myself, there are things that I might probably want to do. I wouldn't want her to tell me no. So, so as far as it doesn't have any negative ramifications, things like what? Um, I'm, I'm definitely okay with it. What would you want changed? It's, it's about women has. today. It's about it, no, it's no, no. It's about men too. It's plastic oh, no, no, you mean in personal? General. No, yes. with me, I'm very, very okay with myself. I'm alright. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine. But you don't think in the future, in the near future, you um, might change um, if, something? If, if I had some problems at this side, probably I would have thought about it. But this side is okay. So which side? Um, this side. There's a okay. there's a PG show. <laughs> <laughs> Marisa, no, let me come kidding. back to you. How has it changed your lifestyle? I mean, I'm sure you had to change your clothes, right? Mm -hmm. How has that changed getting your, you know, body done? How has that changed your lifestyle? I've always been like very thick. Uh -huh. um, I wasn't like just like a slim girl or let me say flat. I've always had that body. So I just think it has my look and mm -hmm. I felt more confident and... So yeah, it still has good. to do with your confidence. You know, like, yeah, more mm. because my tummy used to be big. So when I wear like tight clothes, sometimes it's like mm. it comes out. But after doing it, your tummy is flat. It just it builds up my confidence a lot. And but how did it do that? How did it boost? I don't your know. Confidence? It just changed. I don't know. Everything just it just makes you just feel good when you wear mm -hmm. anything. You look good. Anytime you step out, you get compliments. And this is just like. It's nice, mm. you know, good so, feeling yourself. good within yourself. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't even know it's a big deal. So, you, like, you, you go out, you're like, oh, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. People like people it. are like, wow, it's nice. <laughs> so you get approached a lot, but is it by men or even women? Women, too? men, women, like even. I think more women, like, wow, your shape is nice. You look nice. Wow, like you know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And you love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it has built up my confidence mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, Dick. Let me come back to sure. you. Mm -hmm. She just mentioned that she gets compliments, and and you know, she feels good about it. Right. Do you think that men put pressure on women to to have the perfect ideal body? Um, what about perfect means in this case? Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. think you know there's yeah, some I'll, pressure? I'll, I'll, there could be, there could be, because sometimes probably even on WhatsApp platforms and stuff like that, having discussions, you realize when certain pictures are posted, they can post like a series of pictures and they're going to ask for feedback as to how do you feel about this lady or that lady, if it's a light-skinned person. You actually person, do that. If it's a curvy, oh no, it happens. I mean, come on, yeah, I'm sure you're in a few WhatsApp groups as well. Let's not be ignorant about it. But <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah, those questions do come up and mm. you, you realize that individuals tend to move towards the curvy women and, and, you know, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the pressure yes it's there sometimes but i think generally you should do that for yourself yes, the so. individual going through it mm -hmm. it should be because you personally want to do it so you feel good within yourself and your skin and i think usually where the bashing comes in is the denial okay mm -hmm. sometimes when you do it own up to it 
mm -hmm. okay, be, be confident and say, yes, I did. You know, but when, when you try to say, no, I did not, mm -hmm. then individuals get rumors and then they start to bash you on social media. You done, haven't done it. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, yes, um, to a majority, back to your question, sometimes, mm -hmm. yes, men do add up to the pressure because you realize that they lean more towards curvy women. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so women also want to want to really please the men. Because, I mean, they say that men get um, attracted by what they see, mm -hmm. women by what they hear. Yeah, but what we see too. Maybe I'm Yeah, what we see, hey. but what we No, hear. no, but usually but it's, what, what, it's, what, it's what we tell you is what mm -hmm. gets to it's you. True. But with men, we want to that's see it first, right. and that's going to okay. get us to, you know, there, and then later we're going to find out, are you intelligent? But mm -hmm. with, with women, like the sweet words, and that's why you realize that some, you wonder, a woman is dating this person, going to ask you, I'm bad because you're for whatever. You never know what the guy is telling her, you know. So sometimes what, what you guys hear mm -hmm. plays, plays a major role. What we see is what also plays, plays a major, major role. role. Yeah. Moisha, has that affected you negatively in any way? No. Are you able to run? I, someone actually said <laughs> I should ask you this question. Can you run? Yes, of course. I run, I do. Okay, you stand up for the sake of my viewers. Stand up, let's see it. Please, I beg you. Okay. So this is Moisha. Hey, Moisha. I couldn't carry. I can't. Oh. If you give this to me, I can't carry. Dano <laughs> homa eh? <laughs> Moisha is shy. But it hasn't affected you negatively in any way. No, it hasn't. No, okay. No, it's just the trolls. The trolls. Yeah. How the did you deal with that? You know what? What? When I had my surgery, yeah. Yeah. When everybody started trolling me and everything, it got to me a bit back. You know what? My doctor called me and was like, you know what? Everybody comes here with your pictures. You're like, and so I'm, like I'm like, are you serious? Like, you know what? Don't let these girls or don't let people get to you because mm -hmm. they come here and they're showing me your pictures like they want to look like you. So that started giving me the confidence. I was like, you know what? If that's what they're doing, I mm -hmm. just feel like sometimes you look good and people talk down because they can't do what you have done. So you think people troll you because they don't have the body of course they don't oh so it's, it's because a lot, that's what i'm saying that my doctor uh, when i had my first surgery he called me he was like you know what? a lot of people are coming here with your pictures so why are you sad and why are you letting them get to you mm -hmm. you look good look at yourself in the mirror i'm like you know what then i just look at myself in the mirror i'm like you know what what have i done i've not even done anything <laughs> i have gone for surgery i see people and that's what i'm saying people mm -hmm. work out to get this body right, and this right, what i've right. done so you guys bash me you go behind my back you show my pictures to the doctor mm -hmm. that you want to look like me. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not <laughs> going to let anyone get to me again. Okay. It's but, just a trolling, but I don't think anything negative now. So let, let's go back a bit. Let, take us through your experience. Mm -hmm. you, you were working out. You were not getting the results, the results you wanted, I wanted. And then you opted for plastic surgery. Yes. Take us through that experience. The day, what happened, and when you came out of surgery to... Were you happy with what you saw? Um, okay, so yes, I was, but at the beginning, I was a bit nervous and everything. And you go under anesthesia, so you're sleeping, you're asleep the whole of time, course, and uh -huh. you just wake up and you're like on the bed, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm mm -hmm. fine. I'm like, it's ass. But weren't you like, afraid that you, want, <laughs> you wake up and whatever they've had done is not what you want? Yeah. No, the doctor knows what he's doing and he knows what you want. You saw, and you show him a couple of pictures and how you want to look like. Understand? Like, you know, I want more hips, I want more ass. Depends on your mm -hmm. preference. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you show him and he does it. I mm. trust him because he's been doing it for people. Mm -hmm. So he will show you his works. Yeah. Yes. He will show you hey. his works. You understand? Uh -huh. Then you choose how you want to look. Then So I had confidence yeah. and I was like, you know what? I'm going for this, and when I woke up, mm. you see your results instantly. Mm. As once you wake up, you just like turn it, you're like, oh my god, yeah. I look so good. You be screaming, screaming, screaming. <laughs> that question of being scared actually came to mind as well. Yes. That's one thing I thought if, if like, you probably think about it, because like you said, if yeah. you did do the research, mm -hmm. you realize that individuals actually come out just terribly. Like everyone has a mm. way of, you know, come, come, coming, yeah, coming come out to of terms, it. So, yes, with so it. sometimes people get up and they go like, oh no, my nose was supposed to be here, but it's there. Mm. You know, the bow was supposed to be here, but yeah, it's there. I've so had, I'm sure definitely that, that yeah, was Yeah, girls concerning. that have little challenges like that, mm -hmm. where I was, like right. a girl came in, her ass, one was bigger than one. Exactly. And with that, you need to wait for at least six months or eight wow. months before, before they can correct it. All right. So we, we went out on the streets to, um, Find out what people's perceptions were, especially the women, if they will go for plastic surgery. And this is what they had to say.
this is what God has given me. It's natural, so I shouldn't bother for. And moreover, I think it's individual differences. Some people would like to. Personally, I wouldn't like to. To be honest with you, I like the way I am, so I wouldn't go for something else. That maybe at the end of the day I will regret it all. It will give me some side effect that may result like uh, maybe I will have cancer or because I heard about it that if you continue doing such a thing at the end of the day you end up having cancer or some type of skin disease. So the CIDS will be up a bill, be up a bad in bill. She see, I've been home bad, and she has big hairs, big bad. You wouldn't even know whether it was it's natural or a uh, man-made, like artificial. And it's I uh, yet to say so we need to act. That's all they want to move here. And now the guys today are giving us pressure. Hey, they so we are born now we need to act. Guy no ampel. We are born now need no fat to be sincere. Ampel. That one the it's true. Yeah. A drone one now better try a fine. And we be a me fa me ye normal. We na mi shape be ba mi yin be ko bi bi be kama na 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 me pe. Um, I think uh, on the other hand, um, there is side effect when it comes to the pills that they are taking. Sometimes people also go for injection, and I would advise they should rather go to gym or you do your own personal exercise at home. I would only advise them to hit the gym. Maybe you go to gym and put your body into shape rather than. Going for the pill injection and the body, whatever they call it. And that's what my ladies had to say about plastic surgery. But let's find out what the guys have to say. I don't know why ladies nowadays want uh, that that kind of body because I think they should accept the body God gave them. As we have it now, most men go out for cavitious ladies. Ladies with boobs and also with their curves. And it's, it's natural. It's just natural to go for ladies with the big boobs and their big backside. Some girls think that maybe it's because they're not having curvy shapes or things. So guys, guys, really, guys really don't like them or something. But I me, mean, I think maybe you should always prefer or understand that uh, every guy has his own shape or own taste of the kind of body that everyone prefers. Once you have the curvy body, you can manage it for long. It doesn't. It doesn't finish. Uh huh. You can manage it for long. So that, that that's that's great. I don't really follow on the structure. If I meet someone and the person has good character, the person has the intellect. The person is intellig intelligent. I focus more on that. Whatever the person wants, I don't really follow much on the structure of a woman's body before I I, I choose. And then mana abano, ibi moto. Now it seems every girl in the country, every girl in Ghana has body, body, I mean body and kasa. The front day, the back day. So I've been wondering myself what they do exactly. So uh, I do wonder, I do wonder, I do wonder about uh, the body challenge. Where do they get it from and all that? I like the... the all right, so you've heard from the men as well. Let me take your opinions. You've heard from the ladies, you've heard from the, from the gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Dick, your opinions on what they said. Um, I mean, they are like once again, it's all preferences, personal yeah, yeah, yeah. preferences. You you cannot judge. You mm -hmm. know, I heard some people talking about the fact that it's it's too. Sometimes it's too much. Too much. It's too much. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is relative. Okay, what is too much for you is not too much for someone else. With me personally, mm -hmm. so far as it's not having any negative effects on you, I, I'm down with it. Okay, because what I think it's okay might not be okay, okay for you. With you yeah. might probably want to go mm -hmm. more than that. One guy was also talking about how if it's if it's big. 
he can manage it for long. <laughs> I, really, <laughs> I really don't understand what he means by that. it finishes by <laughs> exactly, the day. Yeah, no, okay, crazy. it depletes by the day. Moesha, <laughs> were you surprised to find out that people were actually accepting of it, especially the ladies, briefly? It, yeah, that's what mm -hmm. it has come to stay. And mm -hmm. people, people have gotten to know that, you know what, there are a lot of people that have done it and not, nothing has, has happened. happened. No side effects. So every woman that wants that shape, Okay. I think have plans okay. of doing it in future. Okay. Yeah. So we are joined now by Dr. Kwesi Debra. He's a cosmetic plastic surgeon um, all the way from the United States, joining us live uh, on Zoom. Dr. Debra, thank you for your time and welcome to the show. Thank you. And um, I'm glad to be on uh, with you all today to talk about some things that's mm -hmm. interesting for community very well dr debra how safe is plastic surgery is it safe first of all Let, let's uh, demystify plastic surgery hello doc doc can you hear me this the sound the sound is uh, is echoing oh i apologize I, i'll reiterate my uh question the question was is plastic surgery safe? Say again? Is plastic surgery safe? Oh, okay. All right, I think we're having some issues with uh, the connection, but we'll try and get to Dr. Deborah back um, on. Listening, but uh, the, the sound is echoing. All right, Dr. Debra, we'll try and, and, it's, and it's not we'll very try and figure clear. out the, the, the issue, the technical clear. problem and then speaking, get back but to it's you. Not clear. Oh, you can hear me now. Okay. So back to the question. Is plastic surgery safe? Hello, Doc? Hello? Is plastic surgery safe? All right. Uh we'll try and get uh Dr. Deborah, there. Uh, let me come to you. Um, Moisha, yeah. you've experienced it. Did, wasn't there at any time, any point in time where you felt, okay, I may go and never come back? Because we've heard of situations where people actually mm -hmm. pass away. Didn't you ever feel, you no. know, that fear? I never like that. I did my research and I know I, I knew the things to do. You know, you're not supposed to do certain things before your surgery. You know, and some girls like people lie about their health conditions before they go, even though you go through a lot like a test before. So okay. you need to know, understand your body. You're not supposed to drink alcohol like okay. a month before the surgery. You're supposed to be taking your vitamins and stuff. So if you don't know okay. all those things, sometimes that's when people mm -hmm. die and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You know. Dick, do you think social media, or what role does social media play in, in this new craze of, of plastic surgery? Um, it plays a major role because right Briefly. now there are a lot of influencers out there. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to social media, like we have Instagram, TikTok, social, like all of the other ones. And everyone have people they follow. The peer pressure. So it, I mean, I wouldn't say peer pressure per se, but it's like trying to emulate what, you know, what the people that you admire are doing, mm -hmm. you know. And you can see the likes as well. Like if you, if you post something that... Um, if you try to emulate something that probably mm. one of your major influencers have done, you realize that your clicks go up, you get your following and all of that. So that's, social media does play, play a, a major role. role. Yeah. In it. Well, um, Entrepreneur Confidence Hogan, um, we all know her, owner of Aphrodisiac Nightclub, recently came out and revealed that she had gone under the knife for her breast to, to have her boobs done. This is what she had to say. I was born with maybe like a size, I don't know even there, if there's anything like an A, I'll be like a 34A, something, or 34AA minus AA kind of. <laughs> My boobs were so small, and when they came out, they came out like that and straight on the floor. Like, out, it was like, oh, that was how it was. And um, I had this huge areola around uh, black areola around it so half of my boobs were a little skin and then the rest of it was areola it was horrible um and i have pictures to prove it not nude pictures though
When I did uh, Miss Ghana, when I contested in the pageant, um, well, at that time I hadn't fixed anything. So I'm going to look for the picture and try and get the, you know, do a sideways so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, I had no boobs, you know, and they were like, but then um, I came to England and I discovered something called plastic surgery. <laughs> So I decided to fix my boobs. So I had my boobs uh, done. The first time um, I had it done in Harley Street. Uh, oh gosh, that's so long ago. We're talking about 99. I had my first implants in 99. Um, I did not like the surgery at all. Hated it because when I came out, I just wasn't happy with what I saw. It wasn't the size I wanted. Everything was just so wrong about it. Everything was wrong. So I decided to go for my second op. So I went for my second uh, operation. And this time I thought it was a good idea to find a female surgeon. So that female surgeon, because I, I thought if she, she's female, she would know what I needed or wanted. And that is another thing. If you're going to do plastic surgery, from my experience, please do your homework. See the, the surgeon's work on someone. So when you go for the consultation, ask the surgeon, can I see before and after pictures? So that you know what his results are. I didn't know all this. I didn't ask any questions. I was like, okay, is the price okay? Yes, I want to have it done. So I had the second surgeon and she did the boobs and she promised that uh she was going to give me a lift because i had a lot because uh, of the first implants my boobs became very saggy so you had a whole skin so the skin has stretched but then the implants was just there and it was just horrible so she said okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a brush reduction but we're gonna do it around the areola so that it will look you know be a bit up I'm like okay fine went into surgery came out and i could see that there was a change there was volume but the areola was it was cut and it was how do i explain this it was one was bigger than the other it was mis mismatched the size it was just okay so she's like oh don't worry within six months it's going to settle blah 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 yaddy yaddy and i'm like okay fine give it six months eventually come six months nothing was settling no way i couldn't believe that i've had second surgery and things are not going well so um give myself a year and a half and I still didn't like what I was seeing. I don't know if that at that time I was going cuckoo or kind of but honestly I had this perfect picture of boobs That's... and that time also that was what was in vogue that was when you had the Katie Price you know um, uh, Jordan big boobs, small waist, you know, that was what was in vogue. So that was what I was trying to achieve, have big boobs, small waist, forgetting that I am an African girl and I've got a body. So that's Confidence's first-hand experience with plastic surgery. If you want to get anything done, like she said, do your research first so you are not disappointed. Now, uh, Moisha, Yes. BBLs are, are in vogue now. Big butts, small waist, big boobs. What happens when the trend changes? I think this has been in, it has been there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Especially with Africans. With African men have always preferred small waist, big boobs, big ass. Mm -hmm. It has always been there. So I don't think it will really go out oh, of trend. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll take your final words, Dick. Um what can i say um, you're I for it you like big boobs you like big yeah, yeah. Nash, everything yeah 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 i mean i would say listen you you can't live life walking on eggshells um mm. you only have one of it one life so at the end of the day think about decisions that you make but if it's something that you think you want to do it do your research and if it's not going to have any negative um effects on you go for it will you have anything else done me um, yes or no 
After my kids. After, after, after your kids. After, after I have kids. <laughs> All right. Very well. Well, thank you so much, uh, Boisha, for coming. Thank you to Dick for coming. Richard Didake is the CEO of Scooter, the best shooter in Ghana. There's an LPM for you. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, Moisha is also an actress, uh, brand influencer, and photo model. Thank you so much for your time. My opinion, I won't have anything done. But then again, it may change in 20 years after I've had my kids. So it's up to you. The choice is yours. All right. Let's go for a breather. When we come back, Kwame Eugene is in the house and we're going to be opening gates everywhere. Don't go anywhere.